Well, I can laugh about it because it's only $600 and to me that's not a lot of money. However, to you guys, that is a lot of money. And this is where it crosses the line, where it pisses me off, where companies like this and people on Instagram are recommending you companies like this. Yo, what's going on traders? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Pleasure to have you here again. If you're new here, my name's Aaron. I'm a 27 year old day trader. I've been traveling and trading for around five years now. So if you're new here, feel free to watch this video, maybe enjoy it. And then after that, if you wanna like, subscribe, then you're more than welcome to join the community that is ever growing. I was a bit skeptical of making today's video because I don't like negativity and I don't like negativity on my stuff or on my channel. However, there's an opportunity for me to hopefully save the very few people that will watch this video in the industry some money and hopefully share some insights into what these funding companies are really like. And, and hopefully, like I say, the goal is to potentially save you guys money. And I guess I'm the test dummy of the trading industry. Um, so in my previous videos, I've, I've mentioned that I want to try out as many funding companies as possible and share with you guys the ones I think are actually legit and good that you should go for and the ones that you should stay away from. Now, which brings me on to the topic of blue Forex funds. Now, I saw this company come up on Instagram and it almost seemed a bit too good to be true, okay? And I had no expectations with this company. They were brand new. I had a lot of people asking me about them. And I basically said to everyone, I said to everyone in the community, I'm testing this new company out. If they are good, I'll recommend them to you. If they're not good, then I'll give you my open and honest opinion and experience. Just share some insights. I'm not talking trash about any certain company. I'm just giving my personal experience of what happened. It's up to you guys to take from that whatever you wish to take from it. I'm just going to give you my experience, what I found, and hopefully that can potentially help you guys. I'm not coming out to necessarily slate this company. However, if it comes across like that, then maybe that's what it is. I'm just going to share my experience and share why I will not be going anywhere near this company ever again. So a little bit of backstory. I had a 100k funded account with this company and I paid around we see how much I paid. Blue Forex funds. And if you guys notice that Instagram has actually been deactivated now, for whatever reason, I'm not too sure. $600, okay? I was happy to pay $600, test it out, see what it was like, okay? I had a lot of people messaging me saying, freaking out because they had paid for a $500,000 account and they hadn't heard anything from the company and they were in complete panic. If you see a new funding company come out, do not go for their biggest account size straight away because you want to make money quick. Go for a smaller account that's a smaller amount of money for you to invest into testing to see if they're legit before you then flood in everything and then start panicking when you realize that maybe they're not what you thought. That's the, that's, that's the main key, okay? The amount of people that message me saying, Aaron, I paid 500,000, like I'm, I'm panicking. I, I, I can't afford to lose this money. What am I gonna do? Don't do that in the first place. Do not be that guy. Do not be that guy that sends 1,500 US dollars, if that's a lot of money to you, to a brand new funding company. It just doesn't make any sense. So for me, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do the 500. Let me just do 100, pay $600 and see how it goes. So we got the funded account. We passed the challenge, the verification. The main thing is the customer service is awful. Absolutely terrible. And I had a lot of people complaining to me about that. And at first I gave them, you know, the benefit of the doubt. They're a brand new company. They're getting a huge influx of traders going to their company. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. They reply within maybe a couple of hours to maybe a day or two. It's not that crazy. That isn't enough for me to want to slate a funding company. Now, who's this putting ads in my video? Get that off unless you're paying me for that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get that off. <laughs> So yeah, I gave them the benefit of the doubt, you know, being a brand new company, they're incredibly busy. As someone who has a business and entrepreneurial mindset, I know what it must be like starting a new company and getting an insane inflation of people and not being able to respond to everyone too quick. So it would be wrong for me to come on here and slate a company because they didn't reply to me as quick as other established companies. That's not my issue. That's totally fine. I can accept that. And I think people have to accept that too. A lot of people were giving them a lot of slate just because they weren't replying to you instantly. That's not my issue. That is a, yeah, it's a little bit of a problem. It's a little bit frustrating, but for me, every time I did message, eventually they did actually reply. Now, here's where the issue comes in. We got the coffee for this one, but you guys might wanna get like a strong whiskey or something, something to, to, to ease you in to what I'm about to share with you. Now, I had been trading the account for a couple of weeks, okay? And I had no problems. The, the company was fine. My executions were fine. My spreads were fine. Nothing, everything was, everything was fine. Everything was good, actually. It was a little bit better than fine. Everything was good. I had no complaints, okay? So I was like, okay, cool. Company's fine. You know, when I first got the account, I sent in my details. 
uh, everything got processed okay. I mean, it, it took maybe, I, I believe it was a week to get the actual life funded account. I had a lot of people messaging me because they were freaking out because they hadn't had the account instantly. Well, I got it within a week. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. I eventually got it. Now, after trading the account for maybe two to three weeks, I then got an email saying my account had been terminated. And I've never had this with any funding company that I've ever been with. I have never had a company email me saying that my account has been terminated for some sort of rule that wasn't in the plan. You know, I didn't break the drawdown rules. I didn't break any risk management or anything like that. So it was a, it was an error that was completely out of my control and was manipulated by these guys. Like I say, I'm just sharing my experience. You guys take from this whatever you wish to take. I'm just sharing my experience. And I'll pop up all of the messages and emails on the screen as I progress and talk about it as well. I got an email saying my account had been terminated. Now, during the time of me passing my challenge, getting my funded account and trading the funded account, I had a lot of people sharing with me bad experiences from this company. I never had any hopes or expectations with this company at all. This was for me simply, let me test it out, see what they're like, and then I can recommend them if I think they're good or not. I will never recommend anything to anyone that I haven't personally used and tested for the sake of making a quick buck. That's the difference between me and most of your other trading furus. They want to make money off something else because they don't actually make money from trading. And that's what's so fucked up about this industry. I have had other companies, I won't say names, that have offered to pay me, I'll just say in the range of a thousand to five thousand dollars for me to make a YouTube video on their funding company and they'll give me a free account. So I said, no problem, fine, but let me test it first. I tested the company and from what you'll see, you'll never see that video on my channel. Why? Because I'm not desperate for a thousand to five thousand dollars to try and make a quick buck. The industry is full of absolute shit. And the only reason I make this channel is to share with you guys real stuff, real trading and real insights into what it's like to become a full-time trader and how you guys can actually, you know, maybe look at me, even if you don't join my community, join whichever community you want to do, but as a, as a person and a mentor who can just give you nothing but the truth and nothing but the reality. Because I've been through an insane amount of scams and failures in my journey that it's wrong of me to sit there and be some other pathetic influencer or trader that makes their money off this. And I want to encourage you guys and share with you all of the things that they do that you need to stay away from. In the beginning, it's very easy to get caught up in this get rich quick scheme and fall for these things. I get it. I've done it. I did it in the beginning. It's totally fine. But you have to learn and, and reflect on it and, and let me be the one to share some more insights. So yeah, I traded the account for a few weeks People were messaging me talking about not getting payouts, not hearing from the company, the company using liquidated brokers. So if you go on your MT4, if you're trading with this company, I believe they're called uh, My Pip FX. But if you actually look up the company, it's a liquidated company that doesn't even exist anymore. So the actual broker that they were using from the get go was incredibly sketchy. And I was recognizing this. So I was, you know, being very cautious and kind of noting down everything that was happening as I was going along because some things were just starting to get a little bit fishy. But you know, we were trading it, we were making money, it was totally fine, didn't break any risk management rules until that one day where I got that email that said my account had been terminated due to not trading with a take profit or stop loss. Now, not trading without a stop loss or a take profit is a very basic retail way to trade. I do not trade like this when I'm day trading for many of different reasons. My reasons for not trading with a stop loss the second I execute a position is much deeper than I'm willing to go and explain in this video or I never ever set a physical take profit because if price runs in your favor and you have a physical take profit and it just stops you out, you've left a lot of profit on the table. But the reason I don't set a stop loss is I execute, and this is only for when I'm day trading, I execute, I watch a few five minute candles or I'm watching the one minute candles, depending on how price is doing, then I put in my stop loss. I execute and then I put in my stop loss. I know where my, my mental stop loss is, but I put my physical stop loss in a couple of minutes after. Now, if a funding company's rules are you have to trade with a stop loss and a take profit, I completely respect that and have to abide by that given that I'm signing up to this company. If that's their rules, I cannot complain if I break their rules. However, I had someone message me on Instagram saying they got their account terminated because they didn't they didn't trade with a stop loss. So what I did is because I don't trade with stop loss, I actually messaged the company and let me just read the messages because I still have the chat and I'll, I'll pop them all up on the screen is still have every single message on this chat. I'm on their website. Okay, this is what I said. I said, also, I had another question. Sometimes I trade without a physical stop loss as I'm a scalper, but I put the stop loss in after two to five minutes of executing. Is that a problem? Not an issue in any way, shape or form, dear. Weird to put dear on the end, but anyway, 
Now, if trading without a stop loss was an issue, that was their opportunity for them to say, yes, that is a massive issue. You cannot trade without a stop loss. However, they said to me, not an issue in any way, shape or form, dear. So, okay, I said, fine, thank you very much. And I thought whoever messaged me on Instagram and said they can't trade with stop loss, maybe they read some rules wrong. So I was fine, I, you know, I went about trading my account. And then, you know, I think it was maybe, it was maybe a week to two weeks later. Uh, I had traded the account for a solid amount of time where the second that I had traded without, you know, a stop loss and that was against their rules, they should have emailed me there and then and stopped the account there and then as opposed to letting me trade the account for two to three weeks and then deciding to eliminate my account after you just told me that that is not an issue in any way, shape or form. Now, so what I did is after I got the account terminated, I thought, you know, let me just go onto the chat again and just ask them the exact same question and see how they now approach it. I said help to get the chat going. And then I said, can I trade without a stop loss? That is strictly against our rules. So you've gone from saying that that is not a problem in any way, shape or form to three weeks later, you have said that is strictly against our rules. So I thought, okay, fine. Maybe you changed the rules since you sent your first message. Maybe you've changed the rules and maybe you sent out an email that I potentially missed. And I said, since when has this rule been implemented? Since you got your live account. Well, I had my live account when I asked you in the first place, is it an issue to trade with a stop loss? And you said, it's totally fine. Okay, so now all of a sudden it's an issue. So I sent a screenshot of the messages and basically said to them, so why was I told here not an issue in any way, shape or form, dear? The dear gets me every single time. And I mean, it's just, I don't know. It just says a lot, the fact they put dear on the end. And now I've been told that I have my account terminated for something that you have told me was allowed. Like I say, if your rules are, you cannot trade without a stop loss. I completely respect that rules and I will abide by that rules given that you tell me. However, you told me that's not an issue in any way, shape or form. They then went on to say, let me forward this onto our accounts department to resolve the issue. Therefore, that's you accepting that there is an issue. Okay, somewhere on your side, not my side, there has been an issue in terms of communication. Can you provide me when this chat took place? It's your chat. Surely you can see that I can't see the times on here. Why, why, why do I have to tell you when the chat took place? You can just scroll up and see it. Exactly the same as I can accept. For me, it doesn't show times. On your end, it will show times. You have full transcripts. I just said no problem. And then they said, we will try our best to resolve this. And I said, thanks a lot. And I heard nothing. I heard nothing for, I'm not too sure how long, but a, 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 a long time. I heard absolutely nothing. No emails, no response to the chat, nothing. Just my account gone. I then said to them, can I have a refund and just call it there? I do not wish to be given another account after this situation. I want nothing to do with this company at this point. And they basically said to me, dear trader, as mentioned in the rules, stop losses and take profits are mandatory. And I'm basically thinking, what are you talking about? I'm asking you to get a refund for the issue we've just spoken about. I'm not asking you if stop losses are take and take profits are mandatory. We've gone through that. We're, we're, we're way past that. Whether it's different people joining the chat, you should be able to scroll up and see our history just like I can. I said, if, if you read above, I've already said, I was told that this isn't an issue and I was given, and I was told by you guys that I could trade without a stop loss. I sent the screenshots and they said, as mentioned, you use a stop loss after a few minutes and we found trades that don't have stop loss also, which resulted in suspension. You are eligible for a 15% discount. <laughs> so after you tell me that I can trade without a stop loss and then put it in after a few minutes to then telling me, no, it is strictly against the rules. You cannot trade without a stop loss and take profit, by the way, which is ridiculous. You are eligible for a 15% discount. After you also said, let me mention this to our accounts department to resolve the issue. Therefore, you've accepted the issue. So you accepted the issue and then didn't accept the issue. Never heard anything from the accounts department and then told me I was eligible for a 15% discount. Oh man, this is absolutely laughable. I can laugh about it because it's only $600 and to me, that's not a lot of money. However, to you guys, that is a lot of money. And this is where it crosses the line where it pisses me off where companies like this and people on Instagram are recommending you companies like this. Also, what you also notice is the people that are recommending you these companies, you won't see them recommending them these companies anymore. Go ask them, go ask them why they're not recommending this company. And before you you know, you join these new companies that they are actually trading. Ask them, have they, not have they got proof of, of screenshots of payout from random people, have they actually tried and tested this company for themselves? If the answer is no, stay clear from sh
companies like this. So that was it. It just went on and on and on. And there was nothing, there was no, we weren't coming to any sort of resolution after you told me that we would pass this on to accounts and that you would get back to me. So from then on out, I basically posted on my Instagram that, you know, I had an issue with this company as anyone had the same and I was inundated with messages of people saying they had the exact same experience, if not worse. I have a friend who was due around a 30 to $40,000 payout, I believe, and he didn't receive one penny, not one single penny. I also know someone else who had their account terminated because of the way they spoke to someone on the live chat. And I understand people's frustration when you pay someone money and you don't get a response within the first few hours to the first few days. To, but to terminate someone's account due to the way that they talk to your staff, depending on how it was, you know, it's that, that that's up to you. I can't comment on that. All I can comment on is my experience and the fact that you, Blue Forex Funds, told me that it was not an issue in any way, shape or form. Not an issue in any way, shape or form. Not even that, yeah, you know what, you can enter a trade without stop loss as long as you put it in with, with this amount of time. Or no, it is strictly, you have to have a stop loss every single time you execute the position. Like you said later on in the chat. So you've completely contradicted yourself and embarrassed yourself because I have full screenshots and full transcripts of this chat. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my experience and share with you guys and hopefully encourage you guys that to make up your own decisions, make up your own thoughts. You know, I know there's pages on Instagram called Blue Forex Scam, something like that. Now, I'm not, you know, slating this company for no reason. All I'm doing is sharing my experience of what actually happened. That's all I'm doing. If you guys wanna, you know, take your own decisions and if anyone's had any bad experiences, then, you know, I don't know, share them if you want to share them. You know, we're, we're, we're a community of traders where we have to, you know, help each other. What, what, whatever happened to, why are we like the only industry where people aren't out there to, you know, help and inspire each other to, to, to do good things? There, Don't get me wrong, there's good people out there, but there's a lot of bad people out there. You know, there's a lot of people that just will just sell you anything and just, you know, bend you over backwards, essentially. And, you know, we need to bring more more kindness to the industry, you know? We're all on this road together. We're all on this road to become financially free and, you know, to 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 make money and be happy and live our lives and spend time with our family and travel the world and do all these incredible, amazing things. So why are we not bringing each other up and helping each other? That's the only reason I'm making this video and hopefully just helping you guys just be smart, be a little bit more switched on. Now, if anyone from Blue Forex Funds, the actual company, is watching this video, and you understand and accept that this is a conflicting issue on your behalf and you want to reach out to me to look for some sort of resolution, then you know where to find me, you know where to contact me. And if you wanna do that and we can come to some some sort of good terms and I can share more insights and more, more light, which I doubt will happen, then I'll do another video and I'll share potentially other good experiences. Like I said, everything in the beginning was totally fine. Everything was good until then you shot yourselves in the foot and absolutely completely embarrassed yourselves and contradicted yourselves. But do not come at me offering me another account. I do not want anything to do with you. If you want to come forward and give me a refund and, and, and apologize, then I'll share that forward with everyone and not take back what I say because I'm just sharing my experience, but I will share that, you know, you do accept when you have made an error, which you clearly have made an error. I didn't make the error of not trading without a stop loss. You told me it was completely fine. And then you went against yourselves and told me that it wasn't fine. So if you want to do that, then you know you know where to reach me. But for you guys here on YouTube, you want to go for a good funding firm, stick to the ones that you already know are well known. Top one probably being, you know, it's the GOAT of um, funding firms is FTMO, my Forex funds. Them two are probably good. You know, some people say bad things about my Forex funds. So, you know, if you want to just stick with FTMO, then do that. There's other good ones popping up in due course. I'm going to get around to trading them and testing them like I did with this one. And I'll be sharing my full experiences here with you guys and keeping it 100% real. So if you guys did enjoy this video, remember, you know, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know your experience if you have had any. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic trading week next week. Make that bread. Let's get it. Peace.